Hello, YouTube friends. I've been quite slow, as you know, if you follow me uh, in getting videos out. Generally, I like to present my experiences in chronological order, and uh, I had a significant event occur back in May of 2022, a whopping 20 months ago. I wanted to make some grand video about it, you know, which would have meant spending some significant time developing the idea, putting everything together. Well, life got busy and I really don't have any good excuses, but it's just been 20 months and I have not created the video. So I kind of have a New Year's resolution to just get the video out and uh, so I can move on to other uh, videos about new and more exciting advances in RG Rover, particularly in the mower world, I think. So I'm just going to kind of throw it out here. What you see in the background is my mower pulling a sprayer, which I had uh, just gotten working in April of 2022, and I tested it in my fields. The, uh, that, that boom on that sprayer will open up to 16 feet, so I can actually use it in my fields. But here it's uh, spraying the yard uh, on April 15th, 2022. But just days after this occurred, um, my mower went from what you see there to this. So obviously uh, that was kind of the end of that mower. That fire occurred on May the 2nd, 2022. And I wanted to do some kind of really grand video about it, you know, maybe make it kind of funny or sad, not sure which one, maybe some of both. Uh, but, you know, no one was hurt. It didn't really bother me that much that the mower burned up. I mean, it wasn't like a family member or a pet or anything, but just a piece of equipment uh, cost some money. But it had a lot of work, a lot of fun involved in it, so pretty big deal. But anyway, I... Uh, I'm just going to explain to you kind of what happened and then show you some video and pictures that mostly my wife shot back on uh, June the 6th. I published a video entitled, Keep an Eye on the Mechanical Stuff. On a traditional riding mower, the operator can usually detect problems early by listening and watching. We're not near these autonomous mowers while they work, so problems can get big before they are caught. Two days before the fire, I saw gasoline dripping onto the muffler from the carburetor bowl, which was a really bad thing when I went to fill it up. I tightened the bowl and I checked that it wasn't leaking multiple times the next day. It was right at the end of the day that when that happened, uh, when I saw the problem. So I started it back up the next day, checked it, but I didn't check it the following day, you know, kind of figured everything was okay after one day of being okay, but I believe I just didn't get the bowl tight. It's hard to get to. I mean, I could have taken more parts off the more the back uh, shield around the back to get to it better. So really uh, just bad. But anyway, when the more caught on fire, there were some small fires about 100 yards behind it, you know, just little dribbles of fire that makes me believe gas was leaking uh, on the muffler, catching on fire, you know, basically catching grass on fire as it went until it, you know, caught up with it and burned up as we see. But my wife recorded the video to share with our family on Facebook Messenger, so you'll hear me refer to as granddaddy. Uh, and I decided just to leave her narration in place because I think it kind of adds to the experience of, of what was going on. And stay tuned to the end, and I'll kind of give a little more commentary of sort of how all this happened, uh, the day that it happened, what was going on. Uh, anyway, enjoy. I am my work granddad's out there trying to work on this thing by himself with his tractor. Um, oh my goodness. He was good. He went out there in his truck with a little kitchen fire extinguisher, and just before he got out of the truck, the there was a big explosion. I mean, it was already burning, but there was a 
big pop and greater fire and he I don't know if he heard that I tried to yell to him I don't know if he heard me yelling but anyway but there must be fire I'll back over there too because he came back flying back to the house and got on his tractor now he's out there working over that way with his tractor oh my goodness I guess that's a first responder or something. I had, oops, sorry. Hadn't seen any fire trucks yet. The truck just spilled some water running across the rough terrain. All right, now we got two fire trucks and several first responders on the scene. <sighs> Seems they should have parked closer. <laughs> trying to get the grass put out and some of them are leaving so I guess it must be the excitement's over And Daddy taking up the rear. Oh, he won't even wave it. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> borrow a comment from Walter Cronkite, that's the way it is, or that's the way it was on May 2nd, 2022. To show you what the mower was doing on the day of the fire, this is Google Earth, uh, this is our property, these are hay fields around our house. Uh, an interesting side note, when Google made this photograph, satellite image, we were cutting hay at that time. This is my neighbor who cut my hay at that time and has been for years with his tractor and mower uh, and made some really pretty patterns uh, for the satellite image. But this is our house and I had the mower working on this field, which was about an 18 acre field. It would have taken all day, uh, possibly a little more than a day to do that. And it, it was uh, mowing that field at the time. I was in the house uh, monitoring on Mission Planner, but uh, with such a long mission, I don't always monitor every moment. I do usually have the volume turned up on my computer, and if I'm doing something else in Windows with Mission Planner running in the background, I can still hear it announcing, you know, heading to waypoint five, heading to waypoint six, so you kind of know it's operating. And if it stops, uh, Mission Planner will say, uh, uh, speed zero, speed zero over and over. And if it loses communications, it'll say uh, no data for 15 seconds and then no data for 25 seconds. So it, it lets you know things are, are not going well. But the TV was on and I was just, just had the volume down that day a, a little further than usual, so I couldn't really hear it. But I'd flip over every now and then and check on it. 
Well, when I flipped over at one point, uh, it said no data for 300 seconds or some, you know, five or 10 minutes anyway, a long time. And I thought to myself, oh no, it's gone into the pond because that's a fear I always had. It would somehow get into the pond. I ran up, looked out the window and, and saw uh, what you've seen on those videos. The mower was in this corner right here burning up. It had just made the, I don't know, it, well, I forget, but anyway, it, it was in that corner. And um, so the, uh, it, it had been working, coming this way, turned left, and then died right there, burned up. But all along this path, there were small fires it's what makes me believe gas was dripping and catching the, you know, the uh, little f the field on fire. I, uh, with my tractor, I was able to put out those small fires mostly before the fire department arrived. That was my biggest fear was the fire getting away. Uh, and I was, the, those were really small fires. It was a lot of smoke from the mower itself blowing this way. So it looked like I was right in the middle of a major fire, but it really was very little. I was sometimes over on this side of the of the of the uh, smoke, and sometimes on this side, but I was not in the smoke uh, much at all. So I felt pretty good about uh, what I was was doing. As my wife was sending video and pictures to the family, uh, I was getting she was getting responses back from uh, daughters like, uh, "Is that Daddy's automatic lawnmower?" And she said, "Yes." Uh, he, she's, and the daughter said, I hope he's getting video for YouTube. And another daughter is, is Daddy okay physically, but also emotionally? And my wife said, he's out there fighting fire with his tractor. And she said, makes my heart hurt for him. That's his baby. So uh, my wife was watching for the uh, fire department to arrive. And I certainly want to thank the Davisboro, Georgia Volunteer Fire Department. Uh, great people came in a hurry did professional work, just a great bunch of folks to do a lot for our community and certainly uh, did a lot for me on that day and I'm really, really thankful for them uh, being there. And of course, you know, this was a bad uh, situation, but you know, it's just a piece of equipment. Uh, the farm's still uh, everywhere the way it was. This was just a few days later, a beautiful rainbow. So, you know, God is still in control and everything is fine. So. Uh, very happy about that. But I do want to say that, you know, I've got some friends on, on uh, you know, that I've gotten to know really because of the mower and they've got similar mowers and that kind of thing. Uh, and uh, those friends uh, wouldn't be good friends if they didn't poke a little fun at me, you know, and, and local friends here as well too, making comments like, you know, I need to automate a fire truck to go along with my mower and things like that. But but Yuri uh, Rage, that any of you that are active on uh, the RG Pilot discussion groups are certainly familiar with Yuri. Um, he he uh, poked fun at me just recently for a Christmas present, and it's actually something useful. Uh, this is a new intro from Yuri for my YouTube channel, so take a look. So I really appreciate that. And uh, I thought of something, doing something very similar myself, but I would never have done anything that uh, professional or looked that good. So you may see that as the intro uh, to my channel for, for, from now on. Uh, but uh, as I said, everything is still uh, good out here. The sun still comes up and sets just like it always did. And we have a lot of beautiful uh, nature out here. I just thought I'd throw a few of these photos in. That's right out the back window, right off the deck. A different rainbow. So stay tuned. Now that I had this video out of the way, I have some more catching up to do to fill you in on how version 2 came about and uh, some really neat things there. 
and then to talk about a lot of good things related to RG Pilot and RG Rover advances that have really helped in mowing. And uh, so there's version two right there. So uh, to sound like a real YouTuber, so like and subscribe. See you next time.